This video will help you install your thermostat if you do not have a wire labeled C, but you do have a device called a wire saver that will aid you in installation. Before you label and disconnect the wires at your old thermostat, you need to identify your current wires and system type. When looking at your wires, you may see the following situations. You may have a heat pump system that has different lettered terminals. If you have wires connected to the O or B terminals, you may have a heat pump system, and it will be helpful to refer to the wiring section of your user guide. You may notice a wire that looks like this, known as a jumper wire. If you have a jumper wire, take note of which terminals it is connecting. Often, jumper wires will need to be transferred to your new thermostat for proper function. However, your Wi-Fi thermostat comes with a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals, which should be kept unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both of these wires, you can remove the jumper wire from the new thermostat. Next, use the supplied sticky tags to label each wire according to the letter on the terminal in which it is inserted. Do not label the wires based on their color because wire color does not necessarily indicate the wire's function. After labeling your wires, use a screwdriver to loosen the terminals and pull the wires out. Now you can remove the wall plate of your old thermostat. When removing it, take care to ensure none of the wire labels fall off and that none of the wires fall through the wall opening. Here's a helpful hint. You might want to wrap the wires around a pencil to prevent them from falling back through the wall after you remove your old wall plate. Mount and connect the new thermostat. Now it is time to begin installing your new thermostat. First, separate the Wi-Fi thermostat from its wall plate. You'll want to set the thermostat aside and begin mounting the wall plate. Position it so the wire hole is centered and pull the wires through the hole. Now is a good time to verify it is level. Using a pencil, mark the positions of both screw holes on the wall. If you don't already have holes in the areas you marked, you'll want to make pilot holes for the screws and anchors. If you are mounting the thermostat on drywall or plaster, use the drill bit indicated in your user guide. Once you have pilot holes, use a hammer to tap the anchors into the pilot holes. After inserting the anchors, it's time to attach the wall plate. Position the wall plate so its holes are over the anchors and insert the screws. You can use a screwdriver or drill to tighten the screws. If you want, you can also level the wall plate again before tightening up the screws. Connecting the wires. Because you don't have a C wire, you need to use a device called a wire saver to provide the required power to your thermostat. The wire saver is installed at your heating and cooling system's terminal block. At your wall plate, connect the wires labeled R and W to their corresponding terminals. Then, connect the wire labeled G to the terminal labeled K, and the wire labeled Y to the terminal labeled C. You will see that your new Wi-Fi thermostat has a jumper wire connecting the R and RC terminals. Keep this wire in place unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have wires labeled both R and RC coming out of your wall, remove the jumper wire and insert the wires into their respective terminals. If you determined earlier that you have a heat pump system, match the labels on the wires to the letters on the outside edge of the terminals, then tighten the screws. Refer to the wiring section of your user guide if you need assistance with wiring. Take a photo of how your wires are connected to your new thermostat so that you can determine which colored wires are connected to which terminals when you are at your heating and cooling system's terminal block. You want to pay special attention to which terminals you connect the wires labeled Y and G. Now, bring your wire saver and the wiring photo to your heating and cooling system's terminal block. The terminal block is located in your heating and cooling system. Not all terminal blocks will look the same but they should have the same letter designations. At the terminal block, find the wire bundle with the same color wires as you have at your thermostat. Disconnect the R, W, Y, and G wires from the terminal block. On the upper portion of the wire saver, where it indicates thermostat, connect the R wire to the R or RC terminal, the G wire to the K terminal, the Y wire to the C terminal, 
and the W wire to the W or O slash B terminal, exactly as you did at your thermostat. It will help to refer to the photo you took. If you have both R and RC wires, or W and W2 wires, refer to the wire saver instructions for help. Next, mount the wire saver onto your heating and cooling system in a location that isn't touching the insulation. The wire saver needs to be mounted on a metal surface. Now you need to cut five portions of 18-gauge thermostat wire that are long enough to connect the wire saver to the terminal block. Strip both ends of the wires so they can be inserted into the terminals of the wire saver and the terminal block. Insert the new wires into each terminal of the wire saver on the end labeled Equipment. Connect the other end of those wires to the corresponding terminals on your heating and cooling system's terminal block. When you are done at the terminal block, make sure you put the heating and cooling system door back on properly so that the interlock switch allows the power to be turned on for the system and thermostat display. At the thermostat, push any excess wire back into the wall opening. Now, insert the coin cell battery included in the Wi-Fi thermostat package. Make sure you have the correct polarity lined up and insert accordingly. The battery will slightly stick out from the slot when it is fully inserted. Note that this battery does not power the thermostat, so the display will not power up until you connect the thermostat to your wall plate and turn your system power back on. Attach the thermostat to the wall plate by lining up the pins and snapping it into place. Switch the power back on for your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or the system switch. This should power up your thermostat's display, which will prompt you to set the date and time on the thermostat. Setting up the thermostat functions. Now that you have successfully installed the thermostat, you need to set up the basic functions. It is especially important that you set up function 0170 so your heating and cooling system functions properly. To get started, press the area on the thermostat that says System. You'll see several blank buttons appear at the bottom of the display. Press and hold the center blank button for five seconds until the screen changes. You'll want to cycle through the functions until you reach function 0170. The other functions can be changed at your discretion, but 0170 needs to be accurately entered in order for your thermostat to function properly. This needs to be done before you connect your thermostat to your home's Wi-Fi network. Cycle through the functions by pressing the up and down arrows next to the four-digit number on the left. You can change settings for date, thermostat name, system type, and other advanced features. For more detail on changing options for any function, refer to the System Setup section of your user guide. When you reach function 0170, you must enter your system type. The default setting is programmed for the most common system type, which is a conventional single-stage forced air system with an air conditioner. To determine your system type, refer to the type of wiring configuration you use during installation, or visit wifi thermostat.com slash help and support. If you have a different system type, such as a heat pump or multiple-stage conventional system, you'll need to change the settings and options under function 0170. Refer to the System Settings section of your user guide for the list of options and number combinations. To simplify your setup, only those functions that apply to your settings will appear. When you've finished making changes, press Done to save and exit. Congratulations! You are now ready to start enrolling your thermostat with your home's Wi-Fi network. For assistance with this process, watch the video on wifithermostat.com slash installation videos called Wi-Fi Thermostat, Wi-Fi Enrollment.